Those kind of thoughts never come to our mind that they don't think of us as Americans. At the end of the day, we consider ourselves as Americans, right? I mean, if, if we are living here as residents, as citizens, no matter who says anything to us, the fact is that we live here, we consider ourselves Americans, so it's our responsibility to come and do this. It is locked down. And any trash that you see, if you see like a bin that's... So today what we decided to do was head to the National Mall and start cleaning up some garbage. The government has been shut down for a while now, so the parks were getting dirty. And we figured that this is our civic duty and religious duty to go take to the streets and start cleaning up the trash and the garbage here. We are Ahmadi Muslims. We are those Muslims who believe in the Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan. The Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian, he actually taught us that if you have a Hindu neighbor whose house is on fire, and if you don't go and help that person, then you are not a member of my community, of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. So that is a level of st and standard of service of creation that we are taught to abide by. And so again here, if the parks are sitting here full of trash and garbage is strewn about everywhere, it's bothersome to people who come here, it's bothersome to the environment, then the serving creation means to come clean the trash up. It means to make the park look nice. It means helping the environment, helping the people, the tourists who come and enjoy the park. Volunteer, Volunteer. and they're just doing it because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, right yeah, thing to do. Exactly. It's cool. Yeah. That's so we're part of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association, which is an auxiliary of the Ahmadiyya community at large. Right. Yeah. So of course, you know, we're wearing these vests, we're cleaning up the trash. So oh. people do get curious and they ask what we're about. And so then when we tell them we're part of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community and we're doing this out of a, ser out of a level of, of so service to our faith, and abiding by the teachings of our faith, then people are usually very appreciative of that. They commend this behavior and action, that we live by our faith in that way, in the way in which we dignify our society and environment. <laughs> okay, good work, guys. You guys you All right. Right. All right. Good seeing you guys. The Ahmadiyya Muslim community has been persecuted in much of the Muslim world and the main reason for this persecution is that we believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian was a prophet. Now much of the Muslim world takes exception to that and they say no, Muhammad peace be upon him, was the last chronological prophet, no more prophets can come. And it is this basic main difference because of which the much of the Muslim world persecutes the Ahmadiyya Muslim community why our community is called heretical and non-Islamic and we are called kuffar or disbelievers. This is ours? Yeah. 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 So for us as Ahmadi Muslims, you know, there's a very unique position we're in where, you know, in much of the Muslim world, we're not considered Muslim. Now here in the Western world, nobody knows about the difference of Sunni, Shia, Ahmadiyya too much. They just know a Muslim is a Muslim. So here, because we're Muslim, we're then persecuted because of that. Life does become for some Muslims stressful then in these times. You know, there are these cases of Muslims being attacked, you know, women wearing hijabs or, or scarves being attacked or being yelled at or being abused. And so these are things that put you on your guard and these are things that when you go out, you look twice. But at the end of the day, we still live in a country and a society that gives us the freedom to practice our religion and we are grateful for those freedoms. So this was a time in which our city and our country needed our service. So we took that call upon ourselves to do this service to the nation in which we live. Thank you.